The United States and China recently dispatched rovers to Mars while the United Arab Emirates sent an orbiter to the Red Planet, where it is hoped humans one day will tread. For man and machine alike, experts say landing on Mars is the hardest part of the trip. The period from hitting the atmosphere to getting to the surface has been characterized, depending on the mission, as either the six minutes of terror <laughs> or the seven minutes of terror. Mars has a thinner atmosphere than Earth, which complicates setting down safely on the surface. Stanford University professor Scott Hubbard says those six or seven minutes it takes to go from more than 19,000 kilometers per hour to zero are the riskiest. In terms of where the risk factors are, where you could lose this mission, that is an area that uh, is of the, all the risk factors, the one that you look at the most closely, because it's the one that has failed missions in the past. The casualty rate for Mars missions tops 50 percent. The U.S. so far has successfully put eight craft on the Martian surface, beginning with the twin Vikings in 1976. NASA chose the red planet's Jezero crater over 60 other potential landing sites for its Perseverance rover. Dr. Bethany Elman explains why. This is a great place to explore ancient habitats. It's a great place to look for life. And as added bonus, just outside the rim of Jezero crater are some of the oldest, best exposed rocks on Mars from a time period even one billion years earlier. The craft should reach Mars in February, along with the Chinese and UAE missions after seven months in transit over 480 million kilometers. In spring 2021, French astronaut Thomas Pesquet will become the first European to ride a SpaceX capsule to what will be his second stay aboard the International Space Station. People from all over the world, different countries, have put together their resources for peaceful purposes, for science, for research, for progress. And it's been going on for 20 years, and, and, and it's an amazing success. Finally this week, Virgin Galactic unveiled the cabin of its Spaceship 2 commercial craft. It has 12 windows, and Virgin says they designed the cabin for an out-of-seat weightlessness experience. The company says final tests are ongoing. Arash Arabasadi, VOA News, Washington.